Welcome sa aking YouTube channel. Ito na naman ang inyong nag-iisang tindera sa Africa, Pinay sa Uganda. I am Princess Giga. Again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. At tayo ay umabot ng 200 is it 260,000? Malapit na tayong umabot ng 260,000 subscribers. And again, this growth happened uh, very fast last year at ngayong early this year of 2023. At syempre dahil yan sa inyo, dahil nagpapakita kayo ng interest at sinusundan nyo ang mga kaganapan, hindi lamang ng buhay ko as Pilipina dito sa Uganda, kontinente ng Africa, kundi pati na rin ang mga importanteng information about this country. Ang kultura, ang pagkain, ang damit, ang mga magagandang lugar, ang ugali at ang mga behavior ng mga tao dito. Para naman, uh, kung hindi natin ito natututunan sa aklat, or nakaka-receive tayo ng mga maling information dahil nga sa mga stereotyping na yan, at least mabago ko man lang ang inyong isipan or mabuksan ko man lang ang inyong mga isipan about sa mga uh, totoong information instead of just listening and watching from those movies, etc. Okay, you guys, ngayong araw na to, it's a Sunday and um, medyo maulan sa labas but it will not stop me to explore another place dito sa Kampala. Uh, we are going to check out a very interesting uh, place in about 30 minutes or so. And of course, isasama ko kayo. So, wag niyo akong iwan. Uh, stick with me in this episode para sabay-sabay tayong matuto together. Ayun guys, I'll see you more on this episode. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm Asman, a waiter at Rahim Foods. And we are happy to receive you. So, you enjoy your meal, your lunch by Asman today. Thank okay. you so much. I, I read about this place. What is so special about Rahim Foods? Oh, Rahim Foods, we have three branches. But this branch is specialized in local foods and fast foods. If one can potato food, you can visit our branch in Indeji. I'm not quite sure, but for me, I've been here for like five months. Five months? Yeah. And how's your work? It's very okay. I, I like to associate with people because uh, and when you are doing with hospitality, you, you get people from different area. Yeah, that's good. All right. We are excited for your food. Yeah. <laughs> we will taste it. It's okay. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this place online. Okay. Yes, that's when I know about Thank Rahim. Thank you for this place. Yes. Th no, thank you. I feel like you have a very unique... Yeah, we are offering not too much in it, but the place. Yes. Yeah, we have I'm so excited. Yeah, that's good. I live I live here for three years now. Yeah. I eat local food, how but is, I I is, never see a plate where everything okay, is in there. Okay, okay. But how is uh, how is the food local food? Local, local food, food is good. It's very healthy and organic yeah. compared to ours. We love fried stuff. Okay. All right, thank you. Let me order. Give me five minutes. I'll come back to you. So, nandito na tayo. So far, so good. They are welcoming us really well, and the place feels so so authentic. And may nakita ako kaninang isang malaking plato <laughs> na sobra namang laki. At uh, tingnan natin mamaya kung ganun din yung order natin. Pero this place is called Rahim Foods Restaurant dito sa heart ng Kampala. And it's very famous with the locals. Uh, now we are going to see bakit nga ba ito popular at sikat sa mga lokal. Well, merong mga vlogger ko konti na bumisita dito. Pero hindi ganun kadami. And I think I'm the second one or the third one who's going to show you guys about this place. Napansin ko dito na ang presyo ng pagkain nila starts, it starts with 12,000 Ugandan shillings or around 150 pesos up to 100,000 Ugandan shillings or around 1,300 pesos. So, ito nakita ko, ang tag 100,000 Ugandan shillings ay one half mega and local food lusania <laughs> for five to six people. Ito ay napakalaking tray with different local food. Small, small portion pero sobrang daming different dish. So, it makes me very excited about this restaurant. It has a so so sauce. Okay, so we can get this one. Dahil tatlo kaming kakain, actually, si Joseph, uh, si Timothy, at saka ako pang dalawang tao. <laughs> so, yung kukunin ko na tray ay yung para sa apat. At eto ay 55,000 Ugandan shillings or around 600 pesos. So, titingnan natin ano ang meron 
sa 600 pesos, Uganda style. So ngayon guys, as nakikita ninyo habang pinaprepare nila yung pagkain, it's a very good place to be dahil bukod sa meron silang private room, meron silang mga tables and chairs sa loob ng restaurant. They also provided yung mga table and chairs sa labas kung saan talagang sobrang napaka-authentic na experience kasi habang kinakain mo yung local food ng Uganda sa kontinente ng Africa, you will get a chance to observe the daily life of the local people. Katulad ng nasa labas ngayon ng restaurant, kung saan kami nakaupo, people here are just busy doing their own thing, their source of income, some are traveling on a Sunday. And as you can notice guys, as you can see guys, meron ding mga bukas na shop. And right now, I can also hear the call of prayer for the mosque opposite this restaurant. So for me, it's it's a very good thing to be in especially sa akin as Filipino yung talagang hindi ko mafe-feel yung ganitong klaseng experience kundi dito sa Uganda and the only chance I will experience this thing is if I choose to get out of the house so alam nyo na ngayon guys kung gusto nyo maka-experience ng mga bagay-bagay sa mundo you have to travel and you have to get out of your comfort zone The weight of today is Asmani. This is our food. The, our lasagna for local food. We serve this one for four people. It has chicken, vinyewa, chapati, nakati, avocado, um, and pilau, and matoke, and Irish. I wish that you enjoy the food. Man, I will enjoy. Look at this thing. I will enjoy yes. with my food. <laughs> yes, true. We're going to use this. Fork. Fork. Uh, does people also come here when they are using uh, Some, hand? yeah. But well, well, especially our restaurant is better. People, yeah. it's good. People, they say, or they say, it's better to use ants because you feel the food. Yes. Yeah. The local food is good to yes. use ants. Yeah. Oh, you are so excited. <laughs> okay, so, dumating na yung order natin. Na shock naman talaga ako, guys. Pero alam ko ready ako para dito, lalong-lalo na ngayon na medyo nawalan ako ng napakaraming energy the past few days. <laughs> so ngayon, sobrang dami kong gutom and uh, I understand na this one is a big uh, tray pero ito ay pang-apat na tao. So tingnan natin kung makakaya ba naming ubusin to ni Joseph at ni Timothy. Siyempre excited din sila dahil first time nilang mapuntahan ang restaurant na to and Uh, kasama nila ako. So, so dapat, guys, gusto ko lang kayong sabihan kung ano nang dito. Of course, kailangan natin ng main. Ang ating carbo is ang rice, which is pilaw. They call this one pilaw and we have the white rice. For the vegetable, meron tayong nakati or etong greens. Meron tayong beans. Merong kamatis. Meron din tayo ditong avocado at patatas. Siyempre, hindi mawawala ang ating chapati, my favorite. Ang matoke, the number one staple food here in Uganda. And para naman sa meat or karne, meron tayong pritong manok at sabaw na baka. Grabe naman talaga to guys. Kita nyo naman, oo. Oh. Wala na ako masasabi. I need to eat. I'm so, so, so starving. Let's go. First time in this restaurant. Yeah, this is my very first time in the restaurant. <laughs> But I know that uh, I know that you have been around Kampala. But what can you say about the serving man? I saw this. this they, it's it's so amazing. Whatever mm. they whatever they do here, it's mm. just so amazing. Look at that. Look, Look at, at the way that. they spread their food. Uh. The beans, the rice, uh. the, the the chicken, 
the greens. I mean, it's it's just so amazing. Yes, it looks like heaven. <laughs> this is heaven for us. Yes. Ito din ang pinakauna-unahan mong napunta ka dito dahil sa akin, sa inyong boss na Marites. <laughs> Alright, so what can you say about this survey? First time in our life. I'm 33 and this is the first time I've seen this kind of survey. Guys, in three years in Uganda. How I'm, about you? I'm 22, but guys. But you're a Ugandan. Really a Ugandan. I've been here for quite long, but guys, I was only expecting that when I reach here, they just get us a sauce where they put the chicken or the beef aside. But I'm wondering, oh, the food mixed up together. We call it Katogo. <laughs> Katogo food. <laughs> so, guys, come and check out Rhyme Foods, guys. It's yes. Yeah, Kampala, Uganda. Uganda. <laughs> love for all the blessings and the health and um, and the gift of good people around me. Bless us as we enjoy this food together. Amen. Then you can remove that one. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Just bring out the other mic and just put it here so it can actually, you know. So in our culture, we are always encouraged to eat together. So this idea for us is a very good idea. For us, we serve our food. We can have this type, but we serve it in a, we put it on a table on the top of banana leaves. Uh, as a kosho mm. on a rice in one plate, and then we have small plates for, for the sauce for each and every one. For a little tribe. Japat is here. Mm -hmm. Your favorite. This is a good idea. It's so interesting the way you find out these places and me I've been passing here every time and I don't know. That's why I'm telling you I'm holding this boy of mine. Now you understand why. I don't know what keeps him busy online. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Be smart with Sorry. the woman you choose. Sorry. She can break you or make you. Singles in the UK. <laughs> in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You forgot him. Mm. <laughs> I forgot our culture. You do yeah. Everyone is represented. Mm. Uganda is here. Mm. Rice, okay, it's universal. Mm. But now the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Am I filming? Am I filming? <laughs> Nagre-reklamo si Timothy guys kasi wala daw yung pagkain sa tribo niya which is ang kalo. Yung kalo ay agawa sa harina ng kasaba at millet. Napakita ko sa inyo yun last time nag-travel kami together para siyang palitaw na bilog. Oh, the time kalo, oh, the time kalo. It becomes slippery. <laughs> the food gives you a lot of energy. The boy bits. Mm. Mm. These are the experiences we need. Mm -hmm. I need. I wish I could have taken here my kids. Nasri Kahil Ali. Get for them a plate of two. Put them in the tummy room. Let them experience from here. Maybe when they go for um when they go for a football. And they are very hungry. Yeah,
everyone should see how you eat and they were like I will stop there this woman is eating like eating. it's the best food in the world <laughs> Man, eat till you drop, there's no standing up. That's what that's his experience in my country. Because in my country, if you want rice, you clap twice. They will come with a bucket. Pop! <laughs> Pop, you don't pay for the rice, but you pay for this meat. The meat. And we are meat people, and we love our meat with rice. The club place, go on, go on. Mm. No leaving. When you're done with that cup, you clap. Yeah. Nobody's judging you. Timothy, you fly to Philippines. Ah, 4,000 miles. I have, to, I have to go to Manila. For, for his concert? <laughs> <laughs> I have to visit Manila sometime in mm. He had a dream of being in Manila. Mm. Last night. Mm. Was it yesterday? Mm. Did you know? The dream is okay. The bricks is there already. How you work on it is the problem. No, we dream of things that we think about. Mm. Very true. The season is nice, man. Very nice. Mm. You're safe. This is how my Filipina boss eats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of places we should go in this country. I mean, in this city. Mm. Uh -huh. Even you're a local, you don't know it. Uh -huh. mm. You know me, I'm not used to like the best ones are not really my type but uh, there are lots of places that we can go so next I'll take you to that place that are more restaurants where they basically do the local dishes for northern Uganda don't worry where? Yeah, last time you went there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last time. when you left us we failed to look for a place to eat then we were looking at each other. Let's just go to Timothy's restaurant. Two thousand years later. This, this is until tomorrow. Are you okay? We are dying. Oh, why are you dying? Too much. I can manage it. Too much wala wala. Ayan guys, nung nabusog na, hindi na kami magkakilala. <laughs> they don't know me anymore after they get full. <laughs> they don't even talk. <laughs> Look at the ice, it's about to fall. That's the effect of one tray of Ugandan local food. Ayan guys, hindi namin naubos but we are going to pack it home kasi sayang naman. Pero imposible, akala ko mauubos namin kasi oh Joseph and Timothy are here. But look at that. What's the reason, guys? Tell me a reason. Very good reason. What's your excuse? Why did we did not finish this tray? Guys, the food is too much for us. And remember, someone like me, I'm very thin. So my stomach is... <laughs> very small. <laughs> but maybe this day, I could have uh -huh. made it. What's your excuse? I tried. I tried. You can't even see the portion that I covered. <laughs> This one got covered by Timothy. <laughs> this one covered by Joseph. This one covered by. But imagine. I tried. No. I tried. No. Not fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, guys. 
So natatawa ako sa kanila kasi habang kumakain kami, chinichikahan ko sila na sa Pilipinas, meron din tayong ganitong klaseng pagkain na yung salo-salo pero tawag natin budol fight. So magandang i-experience din yun. Maybe one time I'm going to do budol fight with Joseph, Timothy, and Auntie Christine and my kids. Uh, hahanap tayo ng paraan paano natin may introduce yung budol fight sa kanila. Pero this one, ayun, nag pa ako. Pero this one is such an amazing, amazing experience. And I, I really wish you guys are here with me to experience such culture, to experience such food. Ang dami ko namang burp. Wait lang. <laughs> All right. So like I said, uh, it was a, it's a very good thing to experience. So uh, kapag nakapunta kayo ng Africa, I know some of us are not very comfortable tasting other, uh, other countries' food, but it is one way to know a certain country and to appreciate them, their people and their culture. Ayun. Other than that, guys, nakwento ko na rin sa inyo minsan how Ugandans really love fresh fruit juice. Kahit nasa mall, merong mga binibenta na yung mga tang at 8 o'clock galing sa UAE pero hindi siya mabenta dahil ang mga lokal dito ay mahilig sa preskong preskong juice na galing mismo sa pigang prutas or gulay. So, eto ay isa sa common flavor na binibenta sa mga restaurant at sa mga tindahan or mga uh, gilid ng taan. Eto ay tinatawag nilang cocktail juice na pinaghalo-halong prutas. Merong passion fruit, merong orange, merong mangga, merong avocado. And for this cup, it cost uh, us 4,000 Ugandan shillings or 45 pesos kada baso. Tikman natin. Very nice and refreshing. Sobrang mura at sobrang healthy. Ayan, tapos na kaming kumain. So, maganda din ang kanilang ano guys. Ang kanilang, I like your bill, what, what do you call this? Bill, bill order. Bill order. It looks so nice. Made of wood. Thank you. So if I'm angry with the person I'm eating with, I can hit. I can hit them with this. <laughs> you even have wooden plates. <laughs> Ayun. So dito nila nilalagay, which is very nice. Africa na Africa ng dating. And na yowin namin yung sobra. Yay! By the way, guys, this restaurant is halal, so I am very much comfortable while eating kasi alam ko na ang kanilang mga karni at siniserve ay purong halal. Wait, wait. Okay, guys, na-flip ko na lang yung camera dahil ang hirap nito yung assistant ko ay vlogger na din kaya naiiwan na pag-iiwanan niya ako minsan pero okay lang naiintindihan ko naman at unang-una ako yung number one supporter niya kaya kapag may mga ganito na hindi ko siya nahahagilap at kaya ko naman gawin sa sarili ko I'm very okay gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo itong aming bill na tatlo kaming kumain <clears throat> ang total namin ay 63,000 Ugandan shillings or around 700 pesos seso ses ayun so sobrang okay lang diba guys tatlo na 700 pesos meron pa kaming juice hindi kami natukan ngayong araw na to guys pero para naman kami matumba sa kabusog ay uh, once again you guys nag enjoy kami at babayaran ko na lang to via mobile money transaction ibig sabihin babayaran ko from the money on my phone to their account para, ma para naman mabilisan at cashless pa so, yun box to show si madam cashless in Africa alright alright guys another food culture na naman ang naitopic natin ngayong araw sana ay nag-enjoy kayo at sana nasiyahan kayo at sana meron kayong natutunan sa episode na to. Okay guys, maraming salamat po once again syempre at meron na naman akong bang bring home. Tayo talaga mga Pilipino ay mahilig tayo sa bring home na yan. Ako naman. So ngayon guys, maraming maraming salamat once again. Sana ay meron kayong bagong natutunan sa episode na to regarding sa kultura ng pagkain dito sa Uganda, the Pearl of Africa.